The creator himself visited planet Earth. By the way, there's evidence of the creation and the creator. Romans chapter 1 verse 19 states, because that which may be known of God, watch closely, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, so that even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they're without excuse. I'm saying there is evidence in the universe with space, mass, and time interrelated that the Godhead as one created and visited planet Earth. Jesus Christ not only created us, all things were made by him and for him. Without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Jesus Christ cared enough not only to build the earth, the universe, the supporting cast and the planets, the distant galaxies, the spheres and tiers of star bodies waiting for us, and all affecting us, making it possible to move a finger. Not only did he orchestrate that, and originally it was in a perfect dimension, but with the introduction of sin, man's choice affects the universe, and the entire world groans under that which has been affected. Man's moral choice. But that creator, Jesus Christ, said, not only have I made you, and I am the father of one, he said, I go to prepare a place for you. Now let's take the other side of the coin. It was no pleasure describing for you the concept of hell. It's no pleasure talking about hell, but I have to be honest with you. But now there's another side of the coin. There's another possibility. Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there you may be also. And I want to talk to you in these last moments about heaven. When I think of heaven and try to enunciate the dimensions of heaven, I feel like a little boy with a tallow candle going forth to illumine a sunset. There isn't much that little boy with his tallow candle can do to illumine that brilliant sunset. There isn't much that I, with the feeble words framed by the thoughts of men, can do to describe heaven for you. But let me, let me try. I want to talk to you about the place where saints are the citizens, angels are the guardians. Gold is just diamond frost on the shoelaces. Eternity is the time. No night is there, the Lamb is the light thereof. Let me just give you, in these closing moments, some of the wonders of heaven. The first wonder of heaven is that such a place could really be. <laughs> I have visited some of the great cities of the world, Cairo, Jerusalem, New York. I have visited Los Angeles. I have visited Santiago. I've visited many of the great cities of the world, and yet all of them have debris racing down the streets, crime-ridden, insecurity. There's a place where you don't have to lock your doors at night, and there is no night. There's a place where you can visit grandmother as long as you want, for the oldest citizens will never die, and the youngest will never grow old. We'll all be like Jesus. Number one, the first wonder is that such a place could really be. The second wonder is that the inhabitants over there are interested in us down here. I mean, this is such a mundane existence, yet the Bible talks about a cloud of witnesses. The Bible talks about our being encouraged in the fight by those that have gone on before. The Bible talks about Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration being joined by Moses and Elijah. So we have those on the other side interested. To me, that's an absolute wonder that the inhabitants over there are interested in us down here. The third wonder that I'll mention is that all of these splendors will remain forever. On this earth, there's termination. 
We lose our loved ones and our friends. We lose our health. We lose our youth. But there will be young forever. All of these splendors will remain forever. The fourth wonder of heaven that I'll mention in these moments is the condition for getting there. How do you get there? If I said to you I had to keep all the Ten Commandments to get there, everyone would be trying, but there's only one who's ever kept all the commandments. If I said to you, you had to run an endurance race, everyone would be practicing. Jesus gave us the answer. He said, I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest. How can we know the way? Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus Christ, illustrated here, who created the worlds, who created the universe, is the material representation of the Godhead. And Jesus Christ said, I'm the way. The Bible states, as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. I've welcomed you to eternity. You are already there. You are an eternal being. You will never die. In one form or another, you will be alive forever. Wouldn't you like to spend eternity with your loving Creator who compassionately went to the cross, died for your sins and mine, arose from the dead, and right now is knocking at your heart's door? Pray this simple prayer with me. Lord Jesus, thank you for creating me. Thank you for dying for me and arising from the dead. I want you in my heart. Lord Jesus, right now, I open my heart to you. Come in right now and save me. I will serve you with all my heart. Welcome to God's home in eternity. Creation in the 21st Century has been sponsored by Trinity Broadcasting Network. And only with your love gift of support can this program stay on the air. So write to Creation in the 21st Century, P.O. Box A, Santa Ana, California, 92711. Information like you've received today is available at the Creation Evidence Museum. In printed form, in videos, we even have a coloring book for the kids. Just call or write us at Creation Evidence Museum, P.O. Box 309, Glen Rose, Texas, 76043, area code 254-897-3200, or check us out on the web, creationevidence.org.